What we're trying to get people to do is set objectives, not to broker agreements. And I'm, I'm not saying you go force the organization to do things because you probably can't. But if you ask any user or application owner how much data they can afford to lose, you know, guess what the answer is going to be? It's going to be none. Right? They're, they're, they, the, nobody's going to accept any loss if you just give them the choice. And what we find is that if you can go and set it, because you know what your capabilities are, you know what is probably reasonable within your environment from an application perspective. If you go and set these objectives first, you'll have a lot more success. And I'll talk about some of the results that we've seen in the work we've done. So service level objectives are really, like I said, set by IT based on their known capabilities and your intrinsic understanding of the environment. Every IT person I meet with, I will typically ask them, what are three applications, what are the three most important applications in your environment that if they went down and you couldn't get them back up and running, you'd be in a lot of trouble? It, there's almost no hesitation, and I almost always get a list of three, if not more. Right, so there's an intrinsic understanding. I'm not saying, you know, don't do backup assessments or storage assessments, but there's a core level that we can get to real quick to get the problem solved. And so it's kind of like triage. And so, like I said, we've established this concept called a service level objective. And a service level objective has um, four components in it, right? There's a recovery point objective, a recovery time objective. You've probably heard these terms. We'll, we'll talk a little bit differently about how to apply them. There's a, what we call a version retention objective. I made that up, uh, honestly. It's basically an archive, but with a little bit more uh, understanding behind it. And then there's a geographic uh, recovery objective, so uh, disaster recovery. But the reason we renamed that one is that what we see constantly in DR today is that the DR site is way too close to the primary site. I just spoke with an end user uh, this week, in fact, whose DR site was 24 miles away from their primary site. Both were in the exact same flood, flood plain, and both clearly were in the same uh, geographic region. FEMA actually sets a uh, guideline for uh, uh, zones, and what we recommend is you be two zones away from where you are to be safe.